Okay, bit of Roberta Duran in front of you. Um, I'm sure you know who Roberta Duran is. Stone Hands, a great middleweight fighter. Um, moved up to, I was just saying in another video. I have just put this in another video. So if you've seen this, then, you know, deal with it. You know what I mean? Well, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I just mean like enjoy, either enjoy it or just be like, he's using the content twice. But that's what I do sometimes. Uh I just do it out of laziness, to be honest. I can't be bothered to find another video. It sounds really bad, doesn't it? It's like, oh, I can't even be bothered to find one. No, it's not that. It's just that sometimes uh, copyright stuff um, is hard to find and stuff. And this, I think, is not going to get copyrighted. So I just thought, you know, let's put it out there. Um, but if you've seen it, sorry. And if you're annoyed now that I just couldn't be bothered to do it, I'm even more sorry. Uh, just put a comment saying you are one lazy man. Um, but you can say more than that, but I obviously can't due to the restrictions of YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. Even though I didn't say anything. Anyway, Alexander Usyk gifts. Okay, we need to talk about his gifts. Uh, the IBF vacating the IBF title. So if you don't know, Alexander Usyk has uh, vacated his IBF title and gifted it to um, the Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois fight. Okay, um, so undisputed world champion has confirmed he will vacate his IBF title, clearing the way for Anthony Joshua. Um, so, yeah, that kind of sums it up. With the Ukrainian now contracted to rematch with Fury, he is not in a position to defend the IBF crown against interim champion and mandatory challenger Daniel Dubois. That means Dubois is expected to fight uh, Joshua at Wembley in September, which we know about. So there's two points to this. Firstly, how does Fury feel? that he can never get the undisputed, uh, he can never be undisputed now. Well, he can. And obviously, um, <clears throat> we now know that uh, the IBF has been uh, vacated and it is definitely going to be fought for against AJ and Daniel Dubois. So, when AJ wins it, <laughs> I presume, look, I'm, I'm probably siding with AJ at the minute. Uh, but when either one of them wins it, either Daniel Dubois uh, and AJ, um, Fury is going to then fight uh, Usyk in December. So if Fury does win, okay, um, which he most likely will, um, I can guarantee. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He might. Who knows? Um, if Fury wins, he obviously gets three belts. Then he could fight AJ or Daniel Dubois and become undisputed. But now he's got to do it in two fights. Uh, he's, he's, his opportunity is slipping away very, very quickly. Um, because, you know, like I say, um, I, I don't know whether he's got a third fight contracted that if he did win the second, they would have a third. I'm not sure of that. I will find that out and we'll make a video on that. Um, but if he hasn't got that, then he's got a higher chance. If he has got that, um, when are we looking? June 2025? Um and then he's got to beat Usyk again. Then he'll have to fight AJ or Dubois. That's if they've still got the belt um, at the end of 2025. I mean, it's such a long haul. It really is just such a long haul. Um, it's almost it's almost not really look worth looking at anymore, in my opinion, because there's so much can go on in a year and a half. Um, so, yeah, um, Fury, I should imagine, is going to be upset. Um, and annoyed because now I mean they knew the IBF was going to go anyway um, and yeah okay it's kind of a paper a uh, bit of paper at that point and, and what I mean by that is if, if Fury does beat Usyk it doesn't really matter that the IBF's not there um, because he's beat the he's beat the undisputed so whoever beats Usyk now or Usyk will beat uh, the undisputed in the public's opinion, or not so much in the public's opinion. Certainly boxing fans, boxing connoisseurs will, you know, essentially put Fury as the undisputed, even though he doesn't hold the belts. It's just not the same though, is it? It's just not the same. And and I think uh, Fury will be fuming, personally. Um, even though they knew the IBF was going to get vacated. They knew that. Everyone knew that. But I just think, you know, I think probably Fury fought that he just wanted to hold those four belts. And, and wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? Anyone. So there you go. I think Fury will be annoyed. The second part I want to talk about is, uh, do you think AJ and uh, Daniel Dubois see it as, um, as like a bit of a, you know, when someone gives you a 
you know, tenner. Oh, you know, they, they are mates, you know, there's a tenner. Pick your chin up. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit like, it's almost like rubbing salt in the wounds a little bit. And it? it's like, you know, I've, I've beat yous and, uh, you know, there you go. There's that, that's it, AJ. You know, you take that belt. I don't want it anymore. That's the kind of, uh, uh, kind of opinion that, you know, at first you kind of think, uh, you know, I, I'm not even sure if, obviously, you see, took brought out like a 15 second video where he said i'm gifting it to you um but i don't know whether he's rubbing it in or not or not um again do you think a day and uh dubois will be like do you think they feel like they've earned it um because they want to no one I, no one wants to fight for a vacant belt really i don't think they want to beat the man that beat the man you know what i mean or certainly you know, even if the lineage has stopped you still want to beat and take the belt properly. Do you know what I mean? Um, vacant belts, don't get me wrong, they're still, you know, they're still great, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and I just don't know whether AJ and Dubois are a bit like, uh, you know, yeah, we're fighting for the belt, but is it really the belt? And, um, you know, I suppose the way I see it is that vacant belts are not, they're not worth as much, sadly. Um, yeah. It is hard. I mean, I mean, go back to Jim Jeffries period in 1905 when uh, Jim Jeffries um, vacated the belt. Tommy Burns, I believe, um, took the belt. No, I don't think it was Tommy Burns. It was someone else. But basically, Jim Jeffries refereed the fight. He retired because he refused to fight Jack Johnson. And uh, he, he actually refereed the fight as kind of like a, a gift to say, you know, I'm retired who are these two men are the greatest out here. You know, I'm not, I suppose, but if you, if you beat, you know, if in that case, Jim Jeffries and the, and the, the top three, if you beat the, you know, if there's two of you, you know, two and three, if you beat that man, really you only a second because Jim Jeffries is still the heavyweight champion of the world and he's still fighting fit. He's just refusing to because he's uh, retiring. Do you see what I mean? And you kind of like, and then obviously I think it was Tommy Burns that then got the the belt off of those two. I can't always forget his name, the, the guy that won the vacant title. But then when Tommy Burns got it off him, that's when I believe that you, the lineage has started kind of again, because you've now taken it off the man that was supposed to defend it. Now, Tommy Burns was a really good champion. He, he defended the title 13, 14 times until he got beat by Jack Johnson, which obviously is Jack Johnson went down in history. So there's no shame in getting beat by Jack Don Johnson. Um, but Tommy and, and Tommy Burns was like ridiculous. Tommy Burns was like a heavyweight, 170 pounds. Just ridiculous. Um, I'm sure it was, I'm 99% sure it was Tommy Burns, but yeah, he was like a really lightweight and he went in against Jack Johnson, but Jack Johnson was only 210. He, he, Jack Johnson, although he was the Galveston giant, he wasn't he actually weigh that much. Back in his early career, um, when he was uh, fighting in Texas, when he, when he, um, when he come out of Texas to, to go to San Francisco, um, he, he, he weighed like, he was skin and bones. He hadn't eaten in a week. And he weighed like 170 pounds for a heavyweight. Do you see what I mean? So back then, yeah, anyway. Um, but there you go. Is the lineage, uh, is is AJ's, um, is AJ and uh, Daniel Dubois a bit annoyed? I don't know whether they're a bit annoyed, but it's not the same. Uh, I suppose it's just not the same, is it? Um, it's not the same as winning it off the man that's got, has beat the title. Anyway, have a good one, everyone.